who should hold spawns, AR or SMG? That's a great question. So P1, and there's about 35 seconds left. You have a sub player playing it close right here. You have an AR player up here. You have an AR player over here. And then like your other sub player was probably like, you know, doing a water route or like maybe he's spawn trapping, something like that, right? And by the time these guys push up and kill your teammates, they kill this guy, your guy kills this guy, this guy flies in, kills this guy, you obviously kill this guy, now this guy's pushing up, and by the time all this is happening, now we're already down to probably 25 seconds, right? So now we're at 25 seconds, and we know that there's two more enemies over here, so what happens is off spawn, your teammates, the sub players, are spawning up over here, and now they're like, oh shoot, let's rotate. So one sub player is like getting inside of broken to like pick up this left lane because your AR player is going over here. And then your other sub player is basically just playing for the water route, right? Because one of these guys might spawn up and they might be hitting a water route. And as your AR players are fighting, this AR player dies, this player dies, and then you as an AR player win this 1v1, boom. Now you're soaking up the rest of time and there's probably like 10 seconds left. Your AR player is now sitting on P1, soaking up the rest of time, holding a middle cut. The other AR player is spawning up, and based on the timing, maybe he could trade with someone, where like, you know, this sub player would be like, okay, yeah, trade me. And then like, by the time the AR player gets over here, the sub player can get right here. And that's how like, Call of Duty is kind of broken down, is it's, it's a flow state. It's bumping. It's everyone's doing everything. Everyone understands the chessboard and how to play. Uh, so it's like a mini rotation between the team. Yes, yes, it's exactly that. And that mini rotation is called bumping, where you're bumping from one player to the next. What if the sub player is still sitting right here, and then for some reason, your teammate just spawns all the way out over here? right? Now you have an AR player middle, you have an AR player off spawn, and now these sub players have to hard block and play spawns right now, P2. So as this player gets to P2 time to soak up P2, this AR player gets to P1 to cut P1. And then, you know, he gets one kill, he dies, this guy dies, this guy dies, and then this guy trades out this teammate. Boom, like that, right? This guy's still alive, he's pushing up. This is where this sub player is pushing to fight this guy now. And once he's fighting this guy, essentially your AR players are now gonna spawn up. Boom, AR player spawns up, he gets to the hard block anchor spot, and then the other AR player spawns up, and maybe like we have three dead again, right? So maybe it's three dead again, so this sub player pushes out to start rotating, and this AR player just soaks up the rest of P2 time. So it's literally just bumping and doing mini rotations as a team. And I just essentially showed you one right there. If you're playing, you know, roles, or if you have like a structured way of playing, typically your main AR player is almost always holding spawns. Um, especially for this map, in that VOD review where we saw uh, Raj playing perfect A anchor, where Raj was back here, AR, Raj was up here for P1, AR, here for P5, AR, here for P3, AR, and he played it perfect. Um, so that is uh, that is how you play a uh, hard point, and that's how people uh, rotate between the spawns.